Hey guys, what is up? Joe here, back at it again with another video. And today, I'm gonna show you how you can use your Fujifilm X-A7 or X-T200 as a webcam using their new firmware update. So stay tuned. Fujifilm just released their new firmware update that features the X webcam. This update will allow you to connect the Fujifilm X-A7 or X-T200 with just a USB cable. Yes, you heard it right. You don't need to invest on a video capture card in order to use your Fujifilm cameras for webinars, live streaming, or any content creating. Simply download the firmware via their website, save the files to your SD card, and follow the instructions in updating the firmware via SD card. Or you can use the Fujifilm camera remote app which will notify you if there is a new update available. Download the firmware update, connect the Fujifilm camera via Bluetooth, then the app will update the camera. Once updating the firmware, go to the connection settings and a new setting called USB mode should be available. USB card reader allows the user to transfer files to the computer, while USB camera is the setting you need to choose to use the camera as a webcam. Then all you need to do is to connect the camera to the computer using the USB cable. Your computer applications like OBS, Zoom, or most video softwares will automatically read the Fujifilm X-A7 or X-T200. Here's a sample of my computer's webcam, and here's a sample of the Fujifilm camera. Now that the camera is set up as a webcam, I'll talk about some tips that will help you improve your webcam experience. The power of the camera is not in use when you connect it to your computer. You need to make sure to have a fully charged battery in place. A fully charged battery is good for around 2 hours of runtime, so you should consider having extra batteries if you plan to use it for long periods. Or, if you prefer to remove the hassle of changing the batteries every time it goes low on VAT, you may opt to invest in a DC doppler. Make sure to have proper lighting in your environment by either opening the curtains or setting up an LED light so you don't need to use high ISO settings. The built-in audio of the Fujifilm camera is also not in use when it is connected as a webcam. Hence, the audio capture will be coming from your computer's built-in microphone. If your computer doesn't have a built-in microphone or you want to improve your audio, I suggest invest in lapel mics or shotgun microphones to make your audio better. Alright, I hope you guys learned something new about this new firmware update from Fujifilm. Anyways, if you guys find this video helpful, please share your support by giving a thumbs up and by sharing this video to your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can share the fun and your insights with me every time I post a new content. Also, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to my social media accounts. This is Joe Serrano signing out, and I will see you in my next video. Enjoy life, and stay safe always, guys. See you!